Well, look, there's a lot of strange things happening in boxing right yeah. now. Evander Holyfield, he's, he's popped up again. He, he's he fighting. Does, he? Yeah, but is, is there a, a price for John Fury? Is there someone that you'd fight? Would we I'll see you? I'll fight more. Let's talk some dollars. Let's talk some cash, some figures, and I will fight. But the, I'm not cheap. I'm not cheap, but I'll fight any one of them. Do you ever think about it? And do you, do you I will, let me tell you something. I will fight any one of them for £1 million sterling. Any one of them. It's going to cost them £1 million sterling. I don't ring my phone. If they want to fight John Fury, £1 million sterling, I'm stepping up to the plate with any of them. I'll fight Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson on the same night. If I get knocked spark out, I'm going to do the best I can. But there's one thing about John Fury. He's on the front foot all the way. If it lasts this 10 seconds or lasts whatever, you'll see a bit of fun, won't you? But it's going to cost £1 million. Quid. If you can't pull up a million quid, don't ring my phone. But I will fight any of them. Any of them. Because the last thing I've lost is my nuts. You know, I'm training well. I'm in the Derbyshire Peak District running five miles every day up mountains. You know, I'm doing well. I'm fitter now than what was 20 years ago. And they know that. Ring my phone, you boys. Bums need not apply. Big boys only. Thank you. Keep your phone on, because after this interview... you never switched off my phone. But I only answer it to class people. Bums, get the red button. Beep, end off. Well, that's a message to all the bums out there. Do not call Don't John call Fury. Don't call John Fury if you're a bum and a nobody and an idiot. Because all you'll get when I see you is knocked the f*** out. Men meet before mountains and bop! It's over. They're looking up at the stars. Because I'm telling you, only a quality man can beat John Fury and then he's got his work cut out. But all them quality guys... What's good family? So mash the like button and subscribe. So we just heard dare from your man's John Scary. And I can't lie to you man, yeah? I'm actually infuriated. Now, I know a lot of the time we joke about, but I'm mad. I can't stand the Furies at this point, genuinely. And I actually hope, yeah, Deontay Wilder, if you're listening to this, please... Do some serious harm to that dude. I can't stand them. The whole lot of them. Yeah? I can't stand the, the whole system at this point. I mean, did you hear that goofy interviewer? Oh, no bums. Yeah, no bums. Don't ring. Oh, John, do you want to fight anyone? Well, why are you man acting like we haven't just had the whole Mickey Theo saga? And that's why I'm, I'm losing respect for Eddie Hearn expeditiously. Now, to be fair, not to be fair, scrap it. Eddie Hearn loves the pound note over everything. He has no, in my opinion, he has no morals. Why is he working with Furious for? Furious allegedly just mugged you off for six months. And now you're in bed with him, doing a TV show with John Fury. What, what's going on here? And if you man haven't noticed, in, the, in my last few videos, I've felt... I'm not sure what it is, but listen. I tell her, I do know what it is. For me, yeah, Eddie Hearn working with John Fury, that for me was the last straw, truth be known. I'm sick of the whole lot of it. Sick to the brim of it. All these arse lickers. Schillerfell TV, Schillergun Cassius, this dude here. And then they sit there and, and boxing social, they sit there and listen to this man rant on about, don't ring my, oh, don't ring my phone, only real men, oh, Evander Holyfield. Mike Tyson, in the same night, in the, bro, Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield in the same night, you couldn't handle the Black Skellington, who knocked you out with a rangefinder, what are you talking about, and these, the way they, the way these fangirls, yeah, sit there and just tickle him off, what's wrong with you lot, and again, we can't blame these individuals, yeah, it takes a certain, it takes a certain type of man, to walk around putting microphones in other men's face, begging, begging for some attention, essentially. I'm hate to break it to you, that's not what real men do. I'm not I'm trying to make it, I'm a real man, I'm just telling you. Yeah? Some people could say, why be? Real men don't gossip. Fair enough. What we do know is, there's a pecking order. Yes, I gossip. Guess what? I'll take gossiping over chasing next dudes around the world. Asking and begging for an opinion. And to be honest with you, I'll tell a lie. It's not really the journalism that's the problem. The problem is, if you're chasing people around the country and asking them genuine questions, that really, that's respectable. So, I tell a lie. I'm, I'm wrong there. The, the act of 
chasing men around asking for opinions isn't really the problem. The problem is, when you know Mickey Theo is rock hard for John Fury, when you know, don't forget this, your man John Scary, yeah, is backtracking now, trying to make out that, oh, I only want real men to apply, I only want Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson. That would have been fair enough, yeah, if John Fury had said this a year ago, but guess what? That's not the case. When Mickey Theo called him out initially, John Fury said yes. Oops. Yeah? He said yes. He was signed up for it. They had a date booked and everything. IFL TV, before they deleted the interviews, they was promoting the fight and all sorts. But now, John Scary, after Mickey Theo called his bluff, now he's backtracking. Oh, well, no. Oh! Mickey Theo doesn't count! He's a bomb! Oh! If I know Holyfield and Mike Tyson! That's what he's saying now. Oh, well, you know, the Mickey Theo don't count because he's a bum. Well, why did you agree to it in the first place? That proves you're full of SHIT. And that's where my beef is here. All these media people following him around and asking him how hard he is. And, I, oh, you know me, I'll, I'll take them both in the same night. What are you talking about, you muppet? And that's another, that's another point I want to get to now. Who are we kidding here? Why does... Someone explain this to me, yeah? Why does John Fury get to put himself on the level of Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield? He says, I only want real men to apply. Only real men. Only Evander Holyfield. Only Mike Tyson. Why are you on their level? What have you done? You're a bum. You got moshed by the leftovers of these men, yeah? Lennox Lewis murked the dude who murked you. So what? where does John Fury get this deluded sense of privilege? Fair enough, yeah? If John Fury was in that era knocking around with them lot, I'd get that. For example, I'd understand, yeah? If I understand Mike Tyson not wanting to fight Mickey Theo. Why? Because he's in that realm. He's in that Lennox Lewis Evander Holyfield realm. But you, John Fury, who are you? You're not even, you weren't even a journeyman then. Because you was getting, like, journeymen, you have to understand this. Journeymen had to be durable, do you understand? Journeymen are durable men. John Fury wasn't durable. He wasn't a journeyman. He was below a journeyman. He was the man they wheel in when a fighter's low on confidence. Yeah, If your fighter, especially at heavyweight, if your fighter hasn't had a KO in a, in a few fights, yeah, John Fury was the man they wheel in to get your fighter's confidence up. Do you understand? John Fury is the kind of man they wheeled in after, after Lennox Lewis got beat by whoever it was. They we Oh, yeah, well... Lennox Lewis looking a bit vulnerable. Let's wheel in John Fury to get murked in one round. That's the kind of guy he was. He was below a journeyman. He wasn't durable. So how does a man who's below a journeyman, who's a confidence booster, how does a confidence booster put himself in the category of Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield? And then you've got the media sitting there giggling and laughing like it makes sense. Oh, go on, John. Yeah, John. Yeah, n no bums. Yeah, John, tell the bums. That's what, the that's what the interviewer was saying. The interviewer was gassing John Fury up to essentially tell Mickey Theo, yeah, don't, yeah, don't ring his phone, Mickey Theo. What's wrong with you, you shill? And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a video on it, but I'm pissed off of Eddie Hearn. He's got no shame, no morals. Just a sellout, truth be known. And that's why, don't believe any of the hype people. Don't believe, in my opinion, it's all a fix. Yeah, the last six months was all a fix. Team AJ knew it weren't going to happen. Because if they didn't, why are they back in bed with them now, doing TV shows and whatnot? It shows they're all in it together, making money. And we should have known, to be fair, when El Trapahan was the one to make the fight. Do you remember that? It was in the news. Kinahan was the one who made the fight. How, how, does, how was Kinahan broker in a fight between AJ and Fury? Who's Kinahan to AJ? Oops, he must be someone, because that doesn't make sense to me. Yes, we know Tyson Fury is affiliated with Kinahan, but why would it why would it make a scrap of difference to Team AJ? They should be saying, who are you? <laughs> why would you be negotiating a fight with, with, with me for? Well, clearly, they've got some kind of link there. The only way someone can broker a fight is if they've got assets in both camps. Oops. So clearly, 
it's all making perfect sense while they all circle jerk. And we're the ones who are in the middle of the circle jerk. We've got Hearn on one side, John Fury on another, and we're in the middle just taking, taking nuts from all over. That's where the fans are right now, in the middle of a circle jerk, 100%. And we down bad. And the media, oh, they make my skin crawl. And you know what? In the next few days, I'm going to put a video out. Any of you media goofies here yeah, who giggle at this stuff, I want you bad. It's time for you, man, to step up. The YB wants you. Let's run it. If you don't want to get hit in the head, let's do body sparring. Either way, you can get either way. Full or body. What's that goofy U Umar? Umar, I want you. Let's run it. I'm going to knock the shit out of you goofies. How about that? Any of you, man. Coogan. Shilligan. Any single one of you. Tyrone. I want you. All that shill you've got is coming right out your ear. And by, don't worry, trust me. By the time the YB finish with you, yeah, you're going to be talking straight. And you'll see straight like everyone else be seeing. Because I'm sick of it now. I'm done with it. I'm not, All the laughing and having fun, I'm, I'm over it now. Every time I hear it, I don't... Oh, makes me mad. Sitting there ranting and raving about how hard he is. Mickey Theo put it on you. Yeah, and you folded and made every excuse in the book. Oh, he didn't come out to my my ranch on 10 minutes notice. Make a fight. You said you wanted a real fight. Wait there a minute, John. So wait there. You say you want Mike Tyson. But then on the other breath, you said Mickey Theo, you wanted to do it in a field. Well, do you think Mike Tyson's going to do it in a field? No. So why the contradiction? Why are you happy to fight Mike in a ring, but you only fight you only wanted to fight Mickey in Billy Ho Saunders' back garden? Make make the sense there. Bums need not apply. What you mean to say? What John Fury is really saying is people is that he knows he's only got one chin, same as Tommy Fury. Yeah, notice what's going on here. There's a reason Tommy Fury fights complete stiffs half his size. Because he knows, I can only afford to have one decent fight and I must cash out. Same as John, John Fury knows, when he, if and when he fights, he must cash out. Because guess what? If he goes in there with Mickey Theo, he's going to get clipped and that's the end of it. When he gets knocked so spark out, there ain't going to be no further on fights. Because I... In my mind, yeah, it made sense. Okay, if my name's John Fury, yeah, I've done absolutely nothing in the sport of boxing. If I was him and I was serious and I believed I can win and I believed I was really as hard as I talk about being, yeah, what John Fury should have done is said, you know what, I want to fight Mike Tyson. I want to fight Evander Holyfield. Yes, I'm the son of a current boxer, but in my own right, I've done nothing. In my own right, I was a confidence booster. So let me... Get back on the circuit. Let me go and handle Mickey Theo. And that will give me a platform. That will give me some leverage. Oh, look what I just did. I just knocked out so-and-so. I just knocked out Mickey Theo. That would have... Mickey Theo would have been the perfect platform to build an Evander Holyfield fight. To build a Mike Tyson fight. Bearing in mind, no one knows John Fury like that. But guess what? John Fury don't want to do that. Why? Because he knows... If he goes in there with Mickey Theo, and Mickey Theo lands anything, he's going to spark out. Because what we know is, John Fury in his prime, when he was 25 years old, couldn't hold a rangefinder. The Black Skellington was falling backwards, put a rangefinder out, put a balance finder out. The Black Skellington was trying to find his balance, do you understand? He weren't throwing a punch, he was, have you, you know, for example, when you man fall back, yeah, if you ever fall back, and your hands kind of, Spaz out because you're trying to trying to get your balance back. That's what's hit. That's what hit John Fury. It was a balance finder. A balance finder hit John Fury, and he was so spark out. It's unbelievable. All the way out he was. And that was in his prime. Now look at people like Evander Holyfield. Evander Holyfield's old now, and shot to bits. See, Evander Holyfield used to be extremely durable. In his prime. Look how his chin deteriorated. We've never seen Evander Holyfield as spark out as John Fury was. So that's why John Fury can't risk going in there with Mickey Theo. Because if Evander Holyfield is shot to bits, just imagine how shot to bits John Fury's chin is. And that's why I told you, man, I'll go in there with John. I'll put him out of his misery, 100%. 
One shot, and he's going out. I just know it. I can feel it in my bones. He's too old, and he's too full of rubbish, and he can't fight a lick. That's why, when Mickey Fields stuck it on him, he never to be found. And actually, I've got to say this, yeah. Mickey Fields said that he's going to back off from John Fury. Don't back off. Because what I've noticed is, ever since Mickey Fury started backing off, all of a sudden, John Fury's popping up everywhere. What happened to disappearing? What happened to that? I'll tell you what happened to it. Now he's getting his confidence back again. He thinks the coast is clear. Oh, look. Mickey Fields gone now. Now I can keep start chirping up again. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the whole lot of it. All the comments. Oh, wow. John's so hard. Yeah, I reckon John will run through Mike and Evander. Even Evander, yeah, as shot as he is, Evander would smoke John Fury. John, you can't fight. You've got no chin and you've got no power. Do you understand that? That's a fact as well. You've got none. Because, listen, never mind you. Your son ain't got no chin, ain't got no power. So how are you going to have any 40 years later? Get serious. Sick of the whole lot of it I am at this point. The media is sit there, oh yeah, John, tell us, John, oh, John, John, it's weird, what's wrong with you? What, who, who was that goofy? I beg you, man, tell me who, who it was. I want him bad. Little neek. Oh, John, <laughs> what's wrong with these guys? Where's your pride? Where's your, own e where's your own ego at? That dude there who was stroking John Fury off, knowing the wider context. Knowing that your man's John Scary had shit himself when it came to Mickey Theo. Fair enough, 10 years ago when John Scary was first on the scene and even even myself, you might know me, I've admitted. Initially, John Scary, he pulled me in too. I thought he was a hard ass. But guess what? That's all over now. The talk's done. It's been exposed. You're flogging a dead horse now. It's, it's done, it's over. And in my opinion, in fact, scrap my opinion, the facts are, at this point, anyone with any level of, what's the word, any level of credibility that goes for Boxing Social, IFL TV, all you cucks out there, yeah, all you subs, all you bottoms. If you had any credibility, the only thing when it comes to fighting you should be saying to John Fury is, John, if you're so hard, if you're so this and that, if you're so hardcore, why did you shit your pants about Mickey Theo? That's it. That's all that Coogan should be saying to him. That's all that Boxing Shilson, sorry, bo Boxing, <laughs> Boxing Shilial, yeah? Boxing Shilial. All them ones. That's all you should be saying to him. John, as much as I want to hear you rant and rave about how hard you are, where was all the hardness when Mickey Theo was riding the legs off you in, the pr in publicly? Mickey Theo, you best believe Mickey Theo hangs out the back of John Scary. 24-7. And that's what it is. And any of you media goofies who try and brush it under the carpet and act like it's all still brand new. What's wrong with you? No credibility having asses. Shills. I'm sick of the whole lot of them. I'm sick of the whole circle. And the way he talks, he thinks it's proper art, doesn't he, John Fury? John, you're a fake. You've been exposed. You ain't got a hard bone in your body. You're soft. Yeah? You're soft. What else can I say? Because if you weren't soft, you'd have answered the beef. You've talked about being a hard man, this, that, the other. Well, Mickey Theo wants you. What happened to that? I thought you'd fight anybody. Oh, what? Now you'll only fight old, massively popular fighters. Well, who wouldn't do that? I'd fight Mike Tyson too for 10 million or a million. What's that prove? I thought you was a fighting man who proves anything. Well, you'll fight anybody. And you have to give credit to some of them bare knuckle dudes, yeah, because I've seen... Some of them, I think they're called, what they call the Joyce, the Joyce family. I've seen the old Joyce. He's, he was about 70 years old and he was getting to it. At, at 65, I think he was. Well, I don't know how old he was, but he looked, he looked old. The old Joyce guy, he was in there throwing hands at about 65 years old. You ain't that guy, John. You talk and there ain't no footage of you throwing hands ever. The only footage there is of you is getting knocked out. Because that's who you are. You're a bottom. Yeah? You ain't no good. You got no chin. About you look, oh, you know, if I get a fight with Mike Tyson, I walk forward. You won't do, you won't do nothing. 
And to be honest, truthfully, yeah, I don't think you'd even take a photo of Mike Tyson. Not even for a million. I don't believe it. I think you're all talk. I think you just like the idea of being linked with them names. Honestly, even if Mike Tyson put a million up, you wouldn't want it. Don't believe it. Because you know, he, the first shot that lands, you're going to go spark out. I think it's worth more to you that you get to talk and act like a hard ass than it is actually fighting. You wouldn't want there, there to be videos of you out there. You know you, you'd be able to live it down being smoked again. Let's not forget, you had to go into hiding when them tapes from 30 years ago came out. You can't afford. You don't want to be known as the guy who got smoked on social media. And that's why you treat your son the same way. That's why you protect Tommy Fury, because you know he's going to be the next one up to be smoked. And just before I go, yeah, when I was editing this video, I heard John Scary say, Oh, the last thing I've lost is my nuts. Oh, the last thing you've lost is your nuts. The first thing you lost was your nuts when it came to Mickey Theo. If you can't get in there with Mickey, what? Who are you kidding? You're going to go in there with Mike? Mike will smoke your son now. Both of them. Truth be known. You best believe your son Tyson Fury would have to run for Mike Tyson. That's the only hope he's got. Even this Mike. If Tyson, I'm telling you now, I'm telling you now, 100%. If Tyson Fury stood with Mike Tyson today, he'd get smoked. He'd get knocked out, 100%. He'd get worked. His only hope in that fight would be to run. Just like he did against Chisora in the second fight. Run for his life. From a 55 year old man. And that's your son. You. You wouldn't go around. 100%. Because you couldn't go around with the Black Skellington. So who are you kidding? In your prime. About the last thing that's gone is your nuts. The first thing you went is your nuts. And tell I. The first thing that went was your backside. Because Mickey Theo stays hanging out the back of you John. That's a fact. You don't own your backside anymore. It's Mickey Theo's. Yeah? That's Mickey Theo's ass. 